Can you see me? Well, today, well, I just found out that my local hair salons are finally reopening back up. OMG, when was the last time I actually picked up this camera and filmed something? It was like, I don't know, back in February, I think. So there is a good sign. Um, and actually, as of this video, I believe tomorrow, June 2nd, um, 2nd of June, at least uh, here in San Diego, the beaches are going to expand their um, allowances and they're going to allow laying out on the sand. Finally. And for the first time since, I believe, the end of March. We're just waiting on the boardwalks to open back up, which should be about another month or two, depending on the, um, the um, pandemic, where the pandemic stands by then. But it's... It's a good sign. Um, and as I said, salons are reopening. Malls are also reopening. Uh, I can't believe it. Um, Bath and Body Works uh, not yet open in my area. But hopefully it will be soon. <sighs> I think the last time I've ever been on a beach was like... I believe it was... Well, on you, as far as the history of this YouTube channel, it was actually back um, last July. But for me personally, it was actually um, in September. Um, the Saturday right before the very first day of fall. That was the last time I've actually been on the beach and actually just, um, I, I like on the sand. But in like plazas or stuff, that's um, a little bit further up. But... Haven't been there since. As far as theme parks, um, um, our local theme parks in San Diego, they are targeting the 1st of July, which is 30 days from now, or almost less than that, um, from the time this video is uploaded as the target date of uh, reopening. So yeah, this is like good news and bad news, part two. So that means um, I'll finally be able to do that vlog where I actually cut my hair. That will be soon, but can't tell you when. That will be to decide later. And oh, by the way, also, see that light? There's another one up here. They're, they're backup, it's backup lighting. So in case a power outage were to happen we now have some flood lighting that can at least eliminate the room um until it gets restored um last time we actually had a blackout um of a very long period was in 2011. um so we're getting up to nine year anniversary since that but that's uh, also, um, I want to say uh, happy pride to all my viewers. Um, June 1st is the start of Pride Month. It's going to look a little different this year because, um, well, I, I don't know if I brought this up, but in March, um, when the lockdown went into effect, um, they had to call up, they had to cancel the Pride Parade this year. And once again, that is a precaution. Even as things are starting to gradually ease a little bit, um, it's just an extra precaution because um, mass gatherings are unlikely and they'll probably never happen throughout the summer. So that's why all these festivals are going. On. Oh, and also Coachella, which they were gonna re they were gonna have it in October, but it looks like they could get canceled altogether. And it looks like the 2020 lineup could um, kind of merge in with the 2021 lineup. And once again, Wango Tango also canceled until 2021. Oh, by the way, speaking of Wango Tango, had it been on and had I fell through with my preliminary intents, I would have been packing up as at this moment as we speak. But 
I am deeply heartbroken by the cancellation. Especially because this year, um, as it appears, it looks like, um, um, well, they, well, Harry Styles was going to perform on the village stage. But once again, I think we can start predicting, like, who will be in the 2021 lineup. But then, um, I also want to point this out. Um, especially, um, so, if you guys do not remember, uh, I think I had a vlog about this, um, years ago. So, I showed the, what's it called, the Grossmont Transit Center, I think. And I put that video up like years ago, actually. It was a more, well, kind of like an ASMR, like a trip report or something, but. All right, you know, this is what I was trying to say. Um, because there was a police altercation um, at that transit center and went on video, surfaced on the news. And because of that, there were riots in La Mesa. It started outside the police headquarters and then continued um, um, no word yet whether Grossman was affected by it but it looks like event security is going to impact the return of first Friday night market once again I, I had a I had a vlog about that recently in February that was like the last event I actually went to before this whole thing this whole pandemic thing. And once again, the pandemic has been a huge blow to this series. But once again, we're going to try and pick it up right where we left off in March. So we're going to try and pick it up um, as much as possible. But then once again, I also have another premiere coming up on the 22nd. Um, so that's like a few weeks from now. Um, keep a lookout for for uh, the premiere, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click on the bell. That way you'll get notified when the premiere link goes up and um, when the premiere begins. <laughs> but other than that, um, we'll go ahead and end things here. And... Um, uh, we'll go ahead and roll term of the week. I have no other choice for this week's term because of what has been going on, especially um, in La Mesa and elsewhere in San Diego. Um, and actually elsewhere in the world, um, uh, I have no other choice for this term, but the term of the week is going to be riot. Um, a form of civil disorder commonly characterized by a group lashing out in violent public disturbance against authority, property, or, peop or, or people. This often involves chanting, breaking in, and vandalism. The last eight times this has ha that this has happened um, so far, um, they had to call in immigration authorities out of a suspicion of drug use. And actually, um, um, in La Mesa, I believe they had to use a long-range acoustical device, which basically um, makes a well. It's kind of ear-shattering, but actually, the the volume it's almost to the point where you could actually go deaf, but it not exactly there. But long exposure could. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this little update video. I know these have been a little bit silent, but once again, um, as more businesses continue to open, um, we'll pick up the vlog right where we left off and we'll finally have this camera up and going again. So thanks for sticking around with me during this whole pandemic. So, other than that, we're out. Thank you guys for watching.